Welcome back. In this video, we're talking all about the Dog RTA by Asmodis and Alex from Vapors MD. I'm Sherlock Holmes and on this channel I do reviews like this, builds video, build videos, vlogs, live streams, all kinds of cool stuff. So if you're new here, consider subscribing, press the bell if you want to be notified when I post new content. At any time, if you want more information about anything I talk about or my social media, links will be in the description underneath the video. Let's jump into it. Some of you may know the Petri RTA by DotMod was my favorite RTA until recently until the dog RDA. Now, the name I'm not thrilled with, D-A-W-G, uh, it is what it is, <laughs> but the product itself is pretty, pretty special. We have a beautiful RTA here. This thing is tall, like massively tall. Not over the top in my opinion. I personally love the aesthetics of it. I think it's gorgeous. 25 millimeters, gold plated, adjustable 510, adjustable airflow. Uh, it is symmetrical. We have kind of rectangular airflow holes, triple. So three of them on each side. You can close them down one by one or however you want, really. I'm not the boss of you, do what you want. This thing has an insane amount of airflow. Here's wide open, let me show you wide open. Yeah, too much. Way too much airflow for me. I generally close it down. I go all the way ugh, to two open and then go a little bit further. So it's kind of, it kind of equates, I feel like, to one and a half. I don't, I don't, I don't know for sure. But this is where I like it to get a really nice, dense, saturated, warm vape. The airflow on this is phenomenal. At wide open, it's very, very smooth. When I start closing it down, I start bringing back some of that turbulence. I personally like that. I love that, actually. And going down to one hole, or or even further, it gets really turbulent. And that will also depend on what kind of build you have in here. I'm rocking actually the coils that came in the box, which have been surprisingly good. We're gonna throw another build in here in a second, but right now my resistance is 0.23. I'm loving this. I'm running at 60 watts. Let me show you again how this thing rips. Yeah, it's killer. The airflow control ring itself is pretty stiff um, to the point where it's difficult. Like I sometimes have to take it off a little bit and get a really good hand on it so I can adjust it. The silver lining there is that once you get it set, it's not going to move around on you and you know where it's at. So that's really, really great. Continuing on the outside, you can see I have the gold, but it comes in some gorgeous colors and gold, silver, uh, black and blue, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just double check that real quick. Yeah, okay, so the blue looks fantastic. All of them extremely well made. You'll see as we go through the inside to this thing as typical with Asmodis the build quality is second to none like truly stellar build quality everything is near flawless I can tell you the threads on the 510 are absolutely buttery buttery smooth I'm sick again guys <laughs> forgive me I'm struggling really clean engravings on the bottom super smooth airflow control ring does come off and you can see the signature uh, I think they call them seafoam green o-rings by Asmodis that really, really do a nice job keeping everything together. If I can get it back on. <laughs> Come on. There we go. We also, oh, now I'm a little bit smoother. Oh, it looks like I kind of did a little damage to my o-ring. All right, that's, the tolerance there is extremely, extremely tight. There's also a little bit of knurling around the bottom of the airflow, around the airflow control ring to help give you some grip as you're adjusting that, which is a good thing because like I said, it's a little difficult. Standard straight glass tank here. I actually would have loved the addition of a bubble glass to up the capacity. With the standard glass it comes with, we're looking at the 3.2 mil capacity, which isn't a ton, and I've been blowing through juice. I noticed how often I fill this. 
So I am cruising through juice, but that's a product of, you know, RTAs in general. And with only 3.2, that's, you know, that just is what it is. At the top, we have really beautiful kind of design knurling here around the top cap. And this just unscrews and this is super smooth. It's an enjoyable, <laughs> it's enjoyable to unscrew. It really is. It's just so smooth and so well built. You can see more seafoam green O-rings in here with two big kidney shaped fill holes. I feel like with this fill system, there's a little bit of wasted space that could have been used to up the capacity, but that's just my opinion. This is one chunky top cap. Like this is a heavy, heavy piece. You can see the chimney in there is just a big wide bore. And that's what I think one of the things that really helps with the airflow. And then on the top, we do have Goon Style 810 drip tip compatibility and all my tips fit really, really snug on this. And you can really create some like really nice matchy matchy. Like I've got the, the black, black and gold. I think this is a gorgeous setup, really rugged, really well built. Again, I've dropped this as I typically do and there's not even a mark on it. And I've landed, you know, it's landed like RTA down on the ground and no chunks or anything have come off of this. So it's it's really, really well built. Uh, standard Delrin drip tip, but it's nice and thick and beefy. And I really like the length of it. It just feels really comfortable, feels really nice. The chimney and the fill cap, like the fill system here is all one solid piece. You can see on the inside, really smooth dome shape, beautifully manufactured, no nicks, burrs, machining marks, or anything anywhere on this except for maybe the bottom of the deck, but anything gold looks absolute, absolutely flawless. I have had zero leaking issues, but we'll talk about wicking in just a second. Taking a look at the star of the show, looking at the deck, I am a huge fan of how they put this deck together. This design is impressive and the performance is even better. Let's talk first of these two massive airflow slots that end up being directly underneath your coils. And that's what allows you to get so much air through this thing. If you're not into that much air though, you can close it down and it does sufficiently restrict the airflow enough that if you like a really restricted direct lung, you can do that. You will not be doing mouth to lung with this, I don't think, but if you wanna try, be my guest. The build deck is a two post, four terminal, like four hole deck. The hex screws are nice and beefy. I haven't had any issues with stripping and it does come with four spare screws in case you do, but I'm a big fan of these gold plated screws. Uh, I don't necessarily know if they have to be gold plated or if that makes a difference, but I like, you know, the, the color coordination here. The post holes are nice. Like they're, they're bigger than I thought they would be. And this deck offers enough space to put some bigger builds in here. The way this is built, it's kind of like a postless deck almost. The leads don't go all the way through. The, the post holes are just kind of little channels that your leads drop into and then you tighten down the screws to tighten down your leads. This deck is very easy to build on. I'm, I'm just really impressed overall with the quality of this RTA and its performance. I'm, I'm, I'm a big, big fan. Underneath the threads here where the chimney goes back down, you can see going around there's four channels and these are actually completely open. I really like the design, the way they did the, the wicking on this. The wicking might take a little getting used to. You might have to do it a time or two before you really get the hang of it and wicking the way you want it to, but less is more. I found personally for the builds that I've put in here, I, I generally want, this is my own rule of thumb now, I want to put a little bit less cotton than I think I need. So just build it, wick it, and depending if you're, if it's leaking, put more cotton. If you're getting dry hits, put less. And that's generally how you'll find where is best for you in your build. When you wick it, I just hold the wicks down and cut it to the base of the build deck, right above the airflow control ring. Let me show you guys how I build and wick this.
I said, everything goes together beautifully. All the threading is gorgeous. It's just overall, hands down, probably my favorite RTA right now. And I say that because of its performance, its airflow options, the build deck gives me everything I want out of an RTA. It's big enough that I can put some of my favorite builds in here without having to worry about it not having enough space. And then the flavor. The flavor is hands down one of the best RTAs that I've ever had. The Petri used to hold that title for me. The dog is now above that because it's bigger. I like the look of it better. It's just more juice capacity. The, the fill system's better than, than the Petri. All in all, I think the dog is a home run. And for only $40, in my opinion, for, for what you get and for how high quality this is by a brand like Asmodis that's notorious for putting out high quality pieces, that's cheap enough to just try. Again, there'll be links in the description if you want to check this out. They also have some other, some awesome, other awesome RTAs that I will be reviewing shortly. I just like Asmodis as a company. If you like this video or found it helpful, make sure you like that smash button. If you have any questions, comments, leave them in the comments below. Subscribe and press the bell if you want to be notified when I post new content. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Sherlock Holmes and I will see you in the next one.